Yeah, I go on October 12th. That is a Wednesday. And October. Then, oh, for your... Oh, no, I leave Tuesday. Well, that's fine. That's still fine. I can still hang out on Monday and get stuff done. So, well, at this point... I can't remember. I'm going to have what I would have recorded with you this last Monday and also what I would have recorded with you this coming Monday that we've just done. Oh, so I don't, there's no need for me to show up Monday. You don't have Monday. to come Monday. Fine. But then Thursday you said you're driving back. Yes. Okay. Yes. Driving back. Ooh. Oh, late. Late. Okay. What is it you're doing? It's just another... One of the meetings. That I'm covering um um. It's like the watchdog dog organization of the organization I cover. It's all the states got together and formed like a their own little little coalition to like watch the other organization. Okay. So watch the <laughs> the group that controls all the transmission. Gotcha. So they're having a meeting. I'm only allowed in for one day. The rest of it's like non-public meetings. Wow. So I can't. I can only show up the one night. I gotcha. thought I was going to have to be there all three, and then, then they're like. No, that's for members only. And I was like, say no Ooh. more. I don't give a shit what you're talking about. <laughs> so I only have to stay one night. I was really excited over that. Cool. So um trying to think of anything else really to cover. I'm just doing cold intro stuff right now. But um, I already talked about the pumpkin patch earlier. That was an experience. It went better than I thought it would for the most part. But then... The fits were thrown in the car on the way home. And... Well, I'm planning, speaking of children, okay. I'm planning shower games for my sister. Oh, okay. And we came up with The Price is Right, okay. so we're getting like maybe like a baby bottle. How much does that cost? Gotcha. And then like jars of baby food. How much does that cost? Bibs, you know, just all, they're all related to baby stuff, like okay. maybe a thing of baby powder. And then you match up the prices with it. And I thought, that's super fun. Do, and then, uh, are you guys doing the diaper game? Like, guessing which candy bar? No, Sarah put a hard veto on that because she's okay. like, that's disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to look at that shit. And it's a waste of diapers. And I was like, okay, yeah. fine, whatever. Um, I can't say I was too thrilled about doing it. So I said, that's good. And then we're doing, what's the other one we're doing? Oh, my God, I can't remember. But there's one. Where it's like instead of pin the tail on the donkey, it's pin the sperm on the ovaries, oh my, oh my God. and you make like a rough. It's not detailed, but you make like a reproductive system, uh -huh. like with the you just draw a construction <laughs> paper one or whatever, right. and then you put the sperms on them, and then you see with like where you like you you have That's an egg funny. somewhere yeah. in there, and then you try to like hit it. That's pretty funny, actually. And we, I got voted down. I said it's fine because. Mind you, my grandma is coming to this, and she's like 85. Right. And they're like, that's not cool to do in front of grandma. I was like, grandma was pregnant at one time. Like, this right. happened to her. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> your mom and all of you yeah. would not exist if not for your like, grandma's they know vagina. What's go Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she is Her vagina is responsible for multiple generations, if you think about that. Just saying. But I don't think they would be offended by seeing a reproductive system <laughs> pinned no. on the wall and then asked to grab a sperm and put it up there. I don't think so. No. I mean, how big are your little sperm? Like about that big or something? Just, oh, just something you can you hold doing, like, on little, to. Are you doing like double-sided tape? Or are you doing like a thumbtack? Or... Remember yeah. Sticky Tacky? Okay. This that yellow stuff. Yeah, like, I was thinking just, of like if I made one, I want it to be reusable because who knows when you're gonna need. So I would have my mom laminate it at her school. Oh God! And then do the sticky tacky. <laughs> then have the and I. You're getting I, serious about it, yeah? Like a reusable game, absolutely. and I'm like, well, absolutely, you can borrow my game because that's what it's for. Everybody needs a pin the sperm on the, pin the, pin the reproductive spin. system. I can't talk. Pin the sperm on the egg. I didn't think that was gonna be so hard for me to spit yeah. out. <laughs> It is. It is kind of for me too. Pin this firm on the. All oh, right, whatever. whatever. It is not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> we're just making it hard because we're we're tired. We're recording. It's God. It's eleven thirty. And so my mom has access to unlimited amounts of sticky tacky. Interesting. Okay. Because she's a preschool teacher, sticky tacky is just like it's purple yeah. now too. Like it comes in different colors now. It's yeah. not just the yellow sticky tacky. Gotcha. 
Did, it, did you call it sticky tacky? Am I like losing my mind here? That's um, what we called it in I school. I didn't call it anything really, but yeah. I know what you're talking okay. about. You're saying sticky tacky. I th- I hear I hear ticky tacky, and then I think of like whatever the song was that was like the opening theme song to the movie. Oh, or the TV show Weeds. Weeds like little ha- houses, little houses, little boxes on, on a hill. Little boxes made of ticky tacky. Yeah, I liked that. Um, that was such. A I liked show. that song. Yeah. It got so weird at the end. Because they started doing like all the different versions of it. Yeah. I didn't care for when they did that. No, I didn't so. like it at the very end, but I really loved it starting off. Yeah. So okay. That's that's good enough. Let's get the ball rolling. It's late and we're slap happy and this could make for some really good conversation. <laughs> so let's get going. All right, everybody. This is Chad. This is Amanda. And you're listening to or watching um, Chad and Amanda talk shit about. I almost <laughs> said the wrong title. I had Understandable. To catch yeah, I was actually more laughing about like the funny face that you just made at the camera a second ago. Again, I'm, I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it picked up. I don't know that it did because I just. I think you're more self conscious now. Maybe, maybe not. What about, about that? About yeah, about the camera because now it zooms in. So it's like so. Anybody that happens to listen to this show or watches this show that does not listen or watch I'm not secular used- perspective, I got a new camera. Um, it's a special streaming camera. However, when we're recording this, we're not actually live streaming it. We're just recording it so I can make sure it all works and I'll post it to YouTube later. But it does jump cuts around as you're noticing if you're watching it. So if, you're, if you've are if you only been listening to us on the podcast, you ought to go check us out uh, on YouTube just to see how it works and see the funny faces that we make when we're talking to each we other. We really do. I didn't like, realize we're real expressive people. Yeah. And I spent like... 20 minutes beforehand trying to dig something out of my teeth because I was <laughs> convinced it would show up and it would have because yes. this is like close. It's yeah, it's right in your face. It is. And I'm glad I'm not, I've gotten over like my self-conscious. I have, like, I've experienced it all over again because I did the first time I was talking into a microphone. I'm like, well, this is weird. That was at, um, when we first started recording at my house Way back and then, then you're like, yeah. well, we're going to add the video component. Here we go. We're going to go to, your house and then i was like okay and i know i was a little unnatural to begin with and, and now just, I after feel, a while you get used to it and it's like it's just kind of part of the background right now i feel like i'm being unnatural all over again because i'm like yeah i keep making eye contact well the problem <laughs> the problem was is just a minute ago we, we finished recording our other show and we went back went back because we've we're on our third show that we've re- we're recording back to back yeah we're marathoning it you guys um we had some technical issues on the first go around, so I changed some stuff up. Luckily, it recorded just fine the last time, but we started reviewing the footage. And oh my God, we make some funny faces at each other when we're talking. We get real excited. We can't contain it. Yeah. We're like, ah. And then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tend to make that face a lot, though, I've noticed. That face? Not not here, but like, I'll go back and like see pictures you occasionally oh yeah if they're like that's like your go-to like goofy face yeah if someone's like make a stupid face i'll just be like like like, i have nothing else that i do i really need to make it's whatever stick like stick your tongue out like cross your eyes yeah (laughs) (laughs) god (laughs) this is too late to be doing that (laughs) that's kind of funny okay so um (laughs) Yeah, I need to actually bring up all my little lists of stuff. So I got it, and it's been a couple of weeks since we've even recorded this show, which I guess it has kind of naturally gone to like an every other week Ooh. type of thing, just because of how schedules work out. And stuff yeah, like we that. didn't plan that. It just, yeah, it happened. Um, but what have you been up to since the last time we recorded this show? Because that's what this show is about, it's just like our lives and other news, silly news stories. I've been. But, Biking around because Scott's going to take me to the trail in Muncie. And I told you this. I'm going to have to ride 40 miles. That it, seems like an awful lot to be biking. It is. I can do it. I think it's 40 miles round trip too. And I have done 30 miles round trip. Okay. In like an after, like it didn't take all day either. Yeah. In an afternoon. So I think I'll be fine. I just did. Before I came here, I actually biked. Oh, it was only like 15 miles. It's not... Only 15 miles. That's more than I bike. I mean, I'm kind of jealous. But it's biking, so I feel like it's not like running. Right. You know, like 
like but running still it's, it's motion 15 miles like would that. be a big deal yeah. yeah and i was just like around town like i was i went to the indie were... flea market today yeah the indie urban flea overpriced as shit they were trying to sell me my thrift store stuff that i go get anyhow and they were trying to sell it at me for 20 dollars a pop Damn. and i'm like no indie thrift indie urban thrift no then i walked out <laughs> <laughs> That's a great... I was like, "Oh shit, I can get this for two dollars somewhere else." It was ridiculous. Yeah. So they do that sometimes. If you're if you're ever in like a out of the way antique store too, gotcha. they'll be like, "This is forty five dollars," and you're like, mm, "No, no, it's not even that much." Because because we're because we're in this weird hole in the wall, hard to find spot, and we're super yeah. exclusive. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they'll mark up stuff real bad. Yeah. So Indie Urban Flea was no different. Yeah. I have no idea why. I kind of know why I made this connection. So I, I went to the dentist a couple days ago. Yeah, a couple days ago. Um, and the reason it made me think of that is right next to my dentist's office, they do have like this little, I almost like a little consignment mm -hmm. fashion store or whatever that's right next to it. Um, but I remembered the day before. Um, I dropped my kid off at daycare and then I went and made a loop to go get some breakfast before I came back home to go to work. And I noticed over there, there was like an ambulance and a fire truck in the parking lot with lights going. Ooh. I was like, Ooh, something never good. Something's crazy going on over at the, the dentist's office. I'll have to make sure I ask. So when I go to get my, my checkup, my teeth cleaned and all that stuff, I was like, Hey, what was the deal yesterday? You know, there was a bunch of lights and stuff going on. She's like, oh, God, it was a whole big ordeal. It was like right at the beginning of the day. Some guy walks in. It's not even one of our patients. Walks in. I think she said he had a hospital gown on. Maybe. Oh. Maybe not. But he had the bracelet on. Okay. He's been to the hospital and he's left. Now, the hospital's like kind of catty-cornered across from where the dentist's office is at. Where is this? Downtown? To. This is No, this is right here down the road. Oh, there's so a hospital. Saint, so right St. Francis here? Hospital's right down the road. I did not know that. Yep, right down the road. Um so anyway, she's like, Yeah, he's walked over from the hospital. And he said it, but we didn't know that immediately. He just said he we just saw he was an older guy came in, said he wasn't feeling real good. He was walking, kind of needed to relax and stuff. He's like, Do you mind if I come and sit down? And they're like, No, that's fine. So he comes in, he sits down to rest for a little bit, passes out, just he's asleep. Dead to the world, they can't get him to wake up. So they call 911. So then it's so in the fire department, an ambulance shows up. So they figure out he's got the bracelet on. They figure out he's just walked out of the hospital because he didn't want to be at that hospital. He wanted to be at Methodist downtown and he was going to walk it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they're like, no, 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 we'll take you. He's like, no, 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 I'm not going with you guys. I don't, I don't trust you guys will get me there or whatever. I don't know. So doing more research, I guess she said they end up finding out that apparently this guy was homeless and for the longest time has apparently been living behind the dentist office <laughs> right there. And they've had no clue. Like he shows up after everybody's gone. He's up early in the morning before everybody gets there. He had like this big Ziploc bag full of all of his prescriptions that he, he kept stashed. He was trying stashed. to go home and go to sleep. I guess. Yeah. So, but I don't know what was wrong with him. She said that he basically, I, I don't think they end up taking him. I think she said that he just flat out refused to go with them, and that was it. Can, if they refuse, can can they? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I mean, I guess if you if you haven't if you're conscious enough to say I don't want your help, they arrest the homeless so often. And when I yeah. worked as a reporter in Jacksonville, I did one story on the homeless, and they were saying it was something outrageous, like. It would cost X amount to actually put them up in houses, and it was way less than the amount to put them in jail. Like they were yeah. spending like thirty thousand dollars per person to put them in jail, take them out, intake, um, just the the cycle per year. Yeah, because they're just crazy. in and out so much. Yeah, something with like between the hospital and the jails, it was like outrageous, and they could just put them up in houses for cheaper. Yeah, so. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm surprised that, well, if people like Trump would, and Apple and stuff, people would pay their taxes that have <laughs> billions of dollars to pay their taxes. We could oh. create, we could create housing to do stuff like that. Like, that's really more of a other show. 
type of conversation, but well, yeah, I guess it would be normally. Yeah, it's that's more of a political. We've gotten a lot more political with this show, with yeah. the secular perspective. Yeah, but and I think it's just more because of the election cycle. That's all it is. Once once we're done, I, I actually do I too. Think we'll calm down. Calm down on that. It's we won't just, calm down. Like we'll, well never we'll never be calm people. But. Right. <laughs> but we'll chill. We'll we'll get a yeah. little bit more varied in our stuff. It's just it's weird. It's just it ha- stuff happened to hit just right for that to all kind of line in place like that. Um. So let's kind of get. I've got I got three articles here. Two of them kind of tie into each other. But what's uh? What, Let what me tell say? you. We we did a meetup on Thursday yes. of our secular group. Yep. And it was so hilarious because as I was going to ride my bike because we were meeting up at a place <laughs> that was only a mile away, um, 1.2 miles away. I, you know, I have my tracker show, told me. So I'm getting ready to go. And the weird thing is you were just like on my Facebook. We were we were messaging each other and you're you're like, Watch out for clowns. On well, your way I there. didn't. I didn't specifically say watch out for clowns. You said something like watch out for clowns, but then my husband's also like, watch out for clowns when you're riding down the Monon. Like they're just gonna like yeah. come out at me. And I was like, oh my god, you said that to me earlier in the day, and then he says it to me right before I leave, and I was like, this clown thing is not a joke. Like it's happening. <laughs> I haven't seen him in in India. I know there were reports in Michigan that they. That they are doing it. Yeah. Close to my hometown. Right. Um, so we're going to talk about the clowns. Yeah. Because <laughs> so. I don't think it's going to abate before Halloween. Like, there's no. going to be clowns. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you ever had, like, a? I can't remember what it's called, like, cholerophobia or something like that? I think it's what no. it's called. I can't remember exactly. I'm Absolutely sure not. And I never have either, really. And I should because my mom has the creepiest Halloween mask that's a clown. That's like, I should... I should grab it when I'm home. Yeah. And then bring it. Just to show. Just yeah. to show you how fucking. I will take a picture of it when I'm okay. there. I will definitely snap it. Yeah, you don't necessarily photo. have to bring it, but you can just snap a picture. You won't believe how like crazy this. It's a rubber, just one of those latex yeah. like masks from the 80s that. Huh. My dad's got a really creepy man one, and then my mom got a clown, and it looks awful. <laughs> and we, you know, we're kids, and there's four of us. So we we each had a turn at being the clown because gotcha. if one year we were something, the other one like we were all a pirate. That got you know. But, that the, but the clown got, got cycled. Yep, yeah. the clown got cycled too. Wow. As did other ones. We were all an M M&M and M one year or something. Like oh that God, that's <laughs> <So it's> funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really weird that I remember several years ago there was like this clown thing that happened it, for a little bit. It like went on for like a month. There's all the Where they were clown. popping up? Yeah, people just creepy clown sightings in one town, and there'd be one in another and stuff like that. It only lasted like a month or so. But here and here, cut two or three years later, here it is again. And it's like, oh, why? I never remember that. Yeah, I just, when this started happening, I remembered, I just had that thought. I was like, yeah, this happened a few years ago. I don't know why I don't get the. I, I the, never heard if, of it happening before. Yeah, I remember, I remember it was a few years ago hmm. that there was it was just clown sightings blah 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 whatever um but yeah i just figured you know there was enough of them and i had a couple stories pop up but this one article i've got here is actually like from my fucking love science iflscience.com um but it actually is like talks about the psychology behind why people are freaked out cool. by clowns and stuff like that and basically i'd like to know what they're saying is whenever somebody dresses up as a clown they put makeup on so you really can't see who the person is like they've covered up their entire identity pretty much so like you don't know who this person is you have no identifying marks so if they did did something? something or whatever you have you for the most part have no real clue who it is because all they gotta do is just wipe the makeup off and they're anybody so you're not really scared of the clown. You're scared of the person. You're scared of the possibility of the person behind the clown behind makeup. it because you don't know who it is. It could be anything. They're just they could be hiding something about themselves. Like there's just all these little tidbits of stuff. That's pretty deep. That's why they said you know kids for some reason kids tend to be more 
scared of clowns and adults because that sense of the unknown, they're not really sure what to think of this because I can't see who this person is. Wow. Whereas adults tend to not be, for the most part, not to be as scared of clowns because they have enough sense to know, okay, this is just a dude with makeup on. He's so you're here saying for the people who remain, what about the adults that remain scared that of clowns? I don't, that I don't necessarily get. They didn't, I don't think this article really dove into that part specifically. I mean, you could be like, why are people scared of anything? Why yeah. is there like... But I mean, it doesn't help because like, you know, John Wayne Gacy was a serial killer and he did clown makeup and stuff like that. And you got, you know, Pennywise from It, which I've never actually seen the movie I've never it seen it either. I need to. Um, there's Killer Clowns from Outer Space was a movie, really cheesy 80s movie. It's like a mix between scary clowns and like like an invasion of the body snatchers type of thing. Because I remember they, they would capture people and they would put them in the, these cocoons made of cotton candy. I was, saw that. that? No, like I really only... big, like crazy, <sighs> rubbery clown. I only saw that because Scott made me watch that. He made me watch. I don't remember much of the movie. He made me watch Candyman too, like the same night. <laughs> Can- I can't remember was, if I've watched Candyman. Candyman was Man not a clown he no he was just in the projects yeah that was just more of like an urban yeah yeah myth type okay. of thing coming to life i think i i can't remember if i've watched he made it me watch not. that stupid clown movie oh my god but then like the really big one because I, I i remember as a kid going through a phase of kind of being creeped out by clowns and clown but more like clown dolls and stuff like that because of the movie poltergeist now, did you see that? Have you seen that? Because mm-hmm. they had the little clown. If anybody that doesn't know, um, <laughs> you know, in the movie Poltergeist, which is like a mid '80s movie, it's like a horror movie, but it's rated PG. Um, it is. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's a PG movie. Wow. Okay. But it's like this family moves into a house that's haunted, and one of the in the son's room, he has this. Like I remember sitting on a rocking chair or something. He had this really creepy looking clown doll, and it gets possessed and it comes after him and like its arms yep. stretch out. Yep. It's like trying That's to right. pull him and choke him. That and was stuff scary. Like that. that was a scary thing. Yeah. I read something. Actually, I read something the other day that whenever they were filming that movie, is that right? <clears throat> that like, yeah, they were filming this movie and the little boy was actually like, actually started to get hurt during that. Like they, they, he was actually getting choked. Like, the oh. director didn't know he was really at hurt until, like, the kids started to turn purple or something like that. Oh. They're like, oh, shit. And they had to go, like, get him unwrapped. I was scared you know? of, oh, my God. I was scared of the Easter Bunny as a kid. Not because I had to sit on any weird Easter lap. It's because one year my parents were like, we're going to make the kids treasure maps and hide the, sh- the their Easter baskets somewhere. So when we came downstairs, it was just a map. Like, you got to go... You know, and then there was a right. Like a scavenger hunt. So, but when I had come down the stairs, my room was upstairs. When I come down the stairs that morning, like the sun catcher that was usually my mom made those sun catchers that were like you baked in the oven, that had fallen down. It was a clown one. <laughs> oh my god! It had fallen down. And it was broken, and it was like, like somebody was here last night. And then the treasure map led me up to my own bedroom to find like. And I got to skip it. You know, remember the skip it? Uh huh. So I got one of those and I was like, I thought like, oh my God, the Easter Bunny's massive. And he like barreled through up there while I was asleep and he broke my sun catcher. Oh my God. So I was like, he's a monster. And it was oh, just no. like my parents were probably drunk <laughs> the Saturday before Easter. Yeah. Like, oh, we got to hide these baskets. Right. I don't know why I didn't hear yeah. it. And they were probably like bouncing off shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Coming upstairs. <clears throat> so I remember yeah. being terrified. I was like, that Easter Bunny's no joke. He's huge and he can wreck shit. <laughs> My son. Luckily, he hasn't brought it up for a while. So I think he's finally forgotten about it. He loves to like steal our phones and watch videos on YouTube and stuff like that. He's been doing it for like the last year or yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. So a while back, just stumbling through stuff because of how YouTube works, he runs across these videos of, it was like live action stuff 
of like these teenage kids was putting on some kind of little skit or whatever and put it on YouTube, but it was about this evil Easter bunny oh. was coming and like <laughs> no would, was knocking kids out and dragging <laughs> them back. To his lair. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> and for the longest time, like, he was really freaked out about Easter bunnies. Like, he kept talking. We didn't know what he was talking about. He kept talking about this scary bunny or scary Easter bunny or oh, something. Oh, no. And we didn't know what it was. So I finally went back through the history because he had mentioned it again. So I was like, okay, he's seen it again recently. So I started flipping through stuff. And I think I even looked it up on the TV <laughs> so I could see what it was rather than just on the phone. And I knew I found it because it started playing <laughs> and he started like shaking. Like oh, he was no. so scared. He was shaking. I was like, oh God, this is like, it's, it's okay, but I just kind of hide his eyes and everything. And I was like, oh my God, this is so stupid. But the mask was really freaking creepy looking. Was it like the Donnie Darko? It was not the Donnie oh, okay. Darko. But I felt like it was like it wasn't far off. Like it wow. was, it was, it was pretty. Like it was all like fuzzy bunny stuff. So he thought the Easter, but bunny. then the face was just effed up. Yeah, yeah. And so he thought the Easter bunny was coming for him. Oh to yeah, knock him out. Yeah. So oh. it was. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Like that went on for like a month, maybe. And it's been a long time. It. Like he's. I think he's forgotten about it. Like I just you saying stuff about. Easter oh, that, made me think about it. I thought the so, Easter Bunny was just, yeah, just gonna wreck some people. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Um, I had clown themed stuff in my room though. I I feel like we had like a. I had a light switch plate that was clowns, and then I had a lamp. I, my mom better still have that lamp. I want to put it in my house one day. I feel like we had some kind of a like a framed picture on our wall in my kid in my room when we oh, were kids. Oh yeah, I maybe. had the framed clown. Clown was like a theme, like a bedroom theme for yeah, a while. Yeah, I don't know why. Kids' bedroom theme. I remember we had that and then like some picture that had like two horse heads on it. It was like an adult horse and a a younger horse underneath of it. And the way that they were shaped was really weird. The way that it was shaped and the way they were positioned when the lights were out and I could just kind of see the silhouette of it. In the dark. Yeah. Like, like the light would reflect just right. I could kind of see the silhouette of the outline of the pictures. It made me think of Alf. Mm. Like, because of the long, like, because you had the top of the horse's head on top. It was just up enough where the eyes would be. And then it had its nose. And then you have a little bit of a space. And then you'd have the baby horse underneath doing the same thing. It was just in a little bit. So it looked like, so it looked like his mouth opened up. Like, it was shaped perfect. And I don't know why, it just made me always think of Alf when the lights turn out. And then when the lights were on, obviously it was a horse. But <laughs> yeah. Um so so anyway, so back to the clown thing, you know, I remember even like a dude I work with keeps bringing up the clown thing. Like he just every time there's a story, he'll send me a link or something like that. My, which might be where one of these came from. My brother in law put on Facebook a dude that was just out on his run with his GoPro just happened. Yeah. Across, like, there's this bridge that he's got to run over, and it's just, like, a regular-looking, uh, what are those bridges called that are bouncy, and they're made up of the planks of wood all strung together sometimes with rope, and they just, what are those kind called? Kind of like a, like a suspension bridge in a way, but not really. Not really. They're not really um, suspension. I don't know what those things are I know called. what you're talking about. They have there's a name. At, yeah. There's one at the zoo, I know. Right. And they bounce. They and kinda, he's like, yeah. he's turning to run up this, and then there's like a clown with his back turned, <laughs> and then he just turns around, and then boom, he's got a knife, and he's yeah. running at him. And, but I feel like that was all staged. He's like, yeah. oh, man, I'm not going on a run anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. Really doubt. I feel, you know what? I feel like a lot of the clown stuff when I was talking about happened a few years ago, I felt like a lot of them were happening like in parking garages and stuff like Ooh. that. Ooh. I, Ooh, don't, oh, no. But there was a lot of video clips. Like, there was a lot of hidden camera stuff going on, too, when, I think. When you're a lady walking out in the parking garage, it's a yeah, scary thing. That's just a creepy vibe, anyway. Yeah, yeah, parking garages. Um, but there's another clown story. I think this is... I can't remember if I found this or if this is the one that that dude sent me. Or did you send me this? I did not send you this. Okay. But it was like... Uh, this is like off of abc15.com, so it's... Um, some local channel. It's it's in Arizona. 
it's a local Arizona, it says Clown Lives Matter March planned for October 15th in Tucson. Um, so, which actually hasn't even happened yet as we're recording this. We're recording this on the 8th. Um, this is like October 15th at 6.30 p.m. on 4th Avenue. Um, people to wear clown makeup or masks trying to show that all clowns aren't bad. Uh, That's kind of the bullet points. Are they the serious news. with this Clown Lives Matter then? I guess I'm going to – this is very short, so I will read it. Uh, sure. It says organize, organizers are planning a Clown Lives Matter march for October 15th in Tucson in reaction to the recent spat of frightening incidences, uh, both real and imagined, spread in the news and on social media. The march will be at 6.30 p.m. October 15th on 4th Avenue in Tucson. Attendees are invited to show up wearing full clown makeup or masks. According to a flyer advertising the event, this is a peaceful way to show clowns are not psycho killers. Uh, We want the public to feel safe and not be afraid, so come hang out, bring the family, meet a clown, and get a hug. (laughs) So, there you go. Um, Somebody's trying to ambush that so hard. Oh, God. God, what if it was just a big troll? Just to get a bunch of creepy clowns there. I Somebody's going to show up as a creepy clown. Oh, I'm clown. sure. Surely they would have a lot of cops there ready to go for something like that. You would think so. There's going to be cops show up. For, you get that many people together, the cops are going to show up has to help it, do security. Has anybody gotten stabbed in this yet? Like, any clowns? Like There was... There was actually one video. Or, there was actually one video I watched on something that... Heck, it might have even been on this link that there was like a kid that said he was climbing down out of a tree just to turn around and find there was a dude in a clown mask there that had like a little knife and went and I think it was like maybe a plastic knife or, oh. or something, but actually went and like scraped the kid's arm and stuff and then turned and ran away. That would be and to the And the news reporter was standing there like they were filming the stuff and they panned up to the kid and he's like now this really happened right like you're not just making this up it's like it's because this is something really serious and the kid's like no it, i'm not making this up this really happened because <laughs> the kid looked like he was maybe 11 or 12 or something like just that. at that ripe age we're like i'm gonna tell a fib right let's see where this goes yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um you know maybe maybe something else happened and they would get him in trouble and he's making yeah. up a story to get him out of it yeah yeah um, so that's really the only two stories I had is talking about clowns. Um, but it is kind of pertinent then there's, right Oh, now. then there's Trailer Park Tammy. Yes. <laughs> and she made Which an anti- Which I anti- never heard of before. You never heard of Trailer I've Park? I've never heard of it until you sent me that link. You have seen the, oh God, it's, it's like a vine. It's so fast. It's, it's her like, y'all got a cigarette? And they're like, um, we don't smoke. And then she's like, well, fuck off. Oh, I have that's seen that. Her. Okay. That's her. I have and that's a that. joke, and people like don't know that it's a joke because she's so convincing. Yeah, and she she did one about clowns, and she's like, "I ain't scared of clowns. I lost my virginity to a clown." Right. <laughs> Which is about the time that I was. You sent me that right before we were supposed to. Yeah. Go out. That's yeah. why I was like, you know, watch out for clowns because you brought it up. So you got to look at Trailer Park Tammy's. Anti clown video is so yeah. funny. Which I looked for it on YouTube and I couldn't find it. So like I, think I it's only, only found, on Facebook. Like I only found it on Facebook. Yeah. Yep. So but yeah, if you just do like Trailer Park Tammy clown, you'll get it. Yeah. But it was like about a minute long thing. But she's like, Yeah, I'll I'll roll up beside him and I'll door check him. <laughs> <laughs> In my nineteen eighty six it was I don't like know. a Cadillac something, wasn't it? Or Lincoln, maybe it was Lincoln. Lincoln Town, Town Car, Car, yeah. That's what it was. Door check your ass. <laughs> Yeah, that was. I'm, I actually kind of look forward to seeing more stuff from her, just because yeah, I never heard funny. of her before. She does one where she empties her purse. Like, what's in Tammy's purse? Because you know how like celebrities do that. Like, this is what I keep in my bag, and it's like expensive tea or facial cleansing cloths that are like always like you know forty five dollars a pop or something like yeah. that. She did her. She's like, one time I got hungry and I was stuck in traffic. She's like, so now I keep this, and it was like. Velveeta shells and cheese. Oh like, my god! How would you prepare that? <laughs> and then she's like, "I always keep motor oil too." And she has like a whole quart of ten W thirty. Boom! <laughs> how big is this purse? Just like it's like a big Elvis tote. And she's like, oh "My, my man bought this for me." She's like, "He spent some money, <laughs> like forty dollars." <laughs> it's so funny. funny. She has the craziest shit. That is funny. Um. All right. I want to see something. Um, 
yeah, we're going to keep moving here. Um, I only have one other real story here. Um, this is cute. This was, a, this was actually a really nice story. Yeah. Um, this is more just, it's short. Um, but I thought it was kind of a neat thing. Um, I went to a pretty small high school myself. So it's like, I, I, the group that I hung out with was like literally half of my class. But Ours? there was like, we had like probably mm. maybe three or four little clicks, I guess, as far as lunch sitting happened. Oh. Um, Cause you had like, basically like my group that was just kind of like, you know, the group of people I hung out with. Mm -hmm. And then you had all your, I guess, basketball players and cheerleaders down at one end. It, well, some of them, because actually part of my group was basketball players and cheerleaders as well. Yeah, you get that overlap in a small Like there is those school. overlaps. And then we had like the group that was, I guess you would kind of say was like the the potheads in a sense. Sure. We and had then those. you had, this sounds so shitty to say, but it's kind of like it. the, I'd say the, the poorer kids maybe, but Ooh. not really. Like, I don't really know what the situation was, but you kind of got that vibe. That they were just not as well. It's just like, yeah. But, like, I even know some, I, I even know, like, one of the girls in there really wouldn't fall into that category, but she was friends with some of the other girls. So, we, so we I don't know. It was just that. like. We got to have that, yeah. Um, but not really. I mean, I, I can't I even understand. say. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it sounds like a shitty thing to say. Like, I, I don't like saying it, but I like say it just to move past it. I'll tell you, um, my high school is very small. There's only like 50 kids to a class. 50 or, well, it rain, like by the time you graduated, there were 50. But when yeah. you started out, maybe there were 80. Yeah. So we all just took lunch together. Right. All of us. So there wasn't like that separation by grade at all. Yeah. But you still had a shit ton of clicks. Like we were very, very clicky and had a bunch yeah. of them where it would only be like maybe like five people in it. It yeah. was weird. Yeah. It was really weird. Because I could see like, I see like a group of maybe 10 down at one end and then like another 10 of us down on my end and then you know three or four here and then four or five over there oh no you're still picturing Just, like mapped in your head. like i can i can map it out <laughs> of my head like roughly where people were you're sitting like at. the mean girls <laughs> like kind of that's the watering hole <laughs> yeah um, I mean, it was, and keep in mind, I'm like even picturing this, like, you know, seniors through freshmen all in this one cafeteria eating at the same time. Cause it was pretty small. Yeah. That but I'm like, a lot smaller you know, cause mine. there would be like other classes in sitting in between. Cause they were like the way it was lined up. It was like they, they were the folding rectangular. Oh yeah. We had the, the same little ones. Bench, and they would just, we had three rows basically. Like we sat in the middle row down at one end and then kind of the jocks group or whatever sat down in the middle table down all the way at the other end so then like whatever other classes sat kind of in between us okay and then maybe the group of about three or four i know they both sat over right kind of right behind where i did or straight across from me, depending on which side of the table I sat on that day. But I know that they sat kind of like on the far right, up towards one end or whatever. So, I don't know, I just, I can, that's the stupid little shit that you can remember when you can't go to sleep at midnight. <laughs> I remember if, oh, wait, we had two, we had two lunch schedules. Because I remember if I was not in the one with my sister, like my younger sister, because we, you know, we would take a lot of the same classes because it wasn't like you had senior level art. Uh, everybody came in and just took different levels of art at the same time. Okay. All right. And so we kind of had some of the same classes, like the elective ones. We always had band together and mm -hmm. stuff. So like if if we had schedules that panned out where we weren't in the same lunch, I was fucked because I always sat with my sister. Oh. Uh -huh. Like, and it was usually like other band kids, but I always sat with her and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do if I like have a like a lunch that's not with her because that sucks yeah so you're just <laughs> kind of there on your own um not totally or... on my own but i remember one time one year i got like there was nobody i knew in that in the one lunch i was like shit so i would like our state it was a cafetorium okay so like i would go and like into the and, and it was like 
there was the stage, but then it was like separated by like one of those accordion those, walls. Yeah. So it separated like the cafeteria from the gym. Okay. And it was like open on both sides. Yep. But they closed it off. So I would like go in there to eat certain days because gotcha. I'm like, off. I don't know fucking anybody. And they, and like, yeah. it's bad to say, but they weren't very welcoming either gotcha. if like you didn't know them because like yeah. you went with your people and that was it. Yep. And so like, then the one year I took psychology and we just started eating lunch in the psychology. Like me, okay. me and my friends started eating lunch at the classroom for psychology until they found out we were eating lunch in there. They're like, what are you doing? We're like, we, we hate the cafeteria. So there's like, you know, six of us in here that eat our lunch and they're like, get out of here. <laughs> God. <laughs> so at times I can't relate it. What? Like I remember two instances, like when I didn't, when I didn't knew nobody at lunch, and then when we were like, "Well, this fucking sucks," we're gonna go into the psychology room. Gotcha. To eat. So I remember two times where I'm like, "This would have helped." I feel like. Yeah. So, what we're talking about when she says this would have helped. So, this is actually off today.com. Um, it says teen invents a sit with us app, so no high schooler has to eat alone. Um, to me, it sounds kind of like, um, oh. I wouldn't really say Tinder for lunches. But Whoa! Like, but no, it's it's like, well, you're trying to find groups. That's the only app I could think to help you meet up with other people. Uh, yeah, there's but apps to help you meet up with. But it's kind of, well, just kind of meet up, essentially, meet I guess. Up. Duh. <laughs> um, but I think, I, you know, I guess people would, or kids at the school would just say, hey, you know, this is our little click that, you know, we're welcome. We actually are going to be welcoming to anybody else if you don't have somebody to sit with specifically come hey, sit with us come sit with us we'll yeah we will take you in at least for lunchtime so um she, uh, da, 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 da. yeah i'm just going to read this first paragraph just because i think it tells why she did it. it says natalie hampton doesn't just have memories of being bullied in middle school she has actual scars. I had bruises on my body from being punched with fists or shoved into lockers. I was slapped and had my hair tied in knots. And I still have a scar on my left hand when a girl clawed me with nails and drew blood, uh, Natalie told today parents. I was told by my classmates that I'm so ugly it's scary and everyone hates you. Wow. That's fucking harsh. This is Sherman Oaks, California, too. So these are like fucking rich kids. Yeah. Um. And I imagine there's a shit ton of them this in, is, in a class. This is fucking mean girls in real yes. life, it sounds like. Yeah. Um, so, you know, aside from the attack, she was being outcast and having wouldn't, to be launched by herself and all that, which makes it worse. Wouldn't have been great if it's not a former person that had been bullied, but just so, like a popular kid who knows that it's, who's like, right. oh, it might be tough for kids that aren't popular, you know? Right. It's not, though. It's somebody that was formerly, like, these are the kids that change the world, are the ones, like... Yeah. That like have this. had some hardship. Right. I mean. Like, by no means that I, would I have ever said that I was the popular, like, one of the popular kids. Oh, no. Like, those are the kids down at the other end of I my table. I would not have said that about myself. But, yet. no. But, damn it, I had a buttload of friends that I hung out with. Yeah. Everybody knew who I was. I mean, I had a TV show in high school and stuff like that. Yeah, I was never. class and stuff. I can but, never recall anybody being really, really mean. Yeah. I, but I saw it to other kids. Yeah. And that was more middle school. By the time we were in high school, it was kind of it's kind of over. But yeah, like I, I had dealt I with like some bully type people. I had never earlier on when I was younger, but like those people either dropped out of school or moved away. It's just that's kind of what happens. Um, but yeah, I just I love the fact that she did this. So this this article has like some screenshots of what the app looks like and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, and there's like a picture of the girl that she is not. She's not ugly. I expected like maybe it was an ugly girl. It is not. No, she's she's all right looking. I guess. Yeah, I mean she's, she's not attractive. ugly. Yeah. Not we're not calling a sixteen year old. I'm not. Gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Don't say it. I'm, not, I'm, try, I'm trying to like you know watch that line. Um, yeah, she's. Yeah, she's not bad. That's weird. Either. It's weird the kids that you see that get bullied. It's so strange. <laughs> They're just they run the gamut. Yeah, that's like one of my big fears about my kids, though, is like I'm worried that they would grow up to be a bully. That's what I was going to say. I was like, your kids, I may, maybe. I mean, they fight back. And Alice forth. might she's get bullied more, because yeah, she's, she's a little more, bit more sensitive. Tentative. Yeah, but never. 
never be the bully. No, never. no, I mean, um, Marcus. Marcus would never have a problem with it. Never <laughs> getting bullied or getting bullied. Getting no. bullied. No. I see him. Maybe he. That's would... what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of right. him wanting to push kids around because <laughs> yeah. he's just. That's what I thought. He too. doesn't want to put up with shit. Yeah, I, I'm sorry that wasn't coming out right, but I'm yeah. like, no, Marcus will never have a problem being being bullied. bullied. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm afraid of because I've even said stuff like at at people at the daycares like, "Hey, is he ever you know mean to other been kids? mean to yeah. other kids?" They're like, "No, not really." Okay, good. I was like, "That was because like they do races and stuff sometimes over there for fun." And I said, "No, actually, he kind of actually acted pretty encouraging, good to other kids, like okay. go go and stuff like that." So I was like, "Okay, well, that's good." That was yeah, because I wonder if any other parents I don't know, how I would know if they have a bully. Either like, are they like, yeah, I know like, my not, kid's an not asshole. Not my kid, right? No. Yeah, I know better than that. So <laughs> you're like, no, he has the potential to be an asshole. <laughs> no, that's like I, I can see it now. I'm like, no, I kind of see where my kid's at. And he's kind of smart, and he's definitely got my smart ass mouth, mm -hmm. like totally. And I could see him using that to his advantage, right? That's what I'm afraid of, right? So hopefully not. I'm, you know. I hope he doesn't prove me wrong. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, that was kind of the last article I had for this. Um, I don't have anything else really Neither to talk about. Neither do I. It's so. been uneventful, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so, and it's late, too. I mean, yeah. I can't believe I'm still upright, really. I know. We're just... So, kind of... We look... I was really hoping it was zoomed <laughs> in on you when it did that, but... It, <laughs> It's not, it's not going to. It's, yeah, there you go. Um, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I, I'm going to call it done, I guess. We need to wrap it up. Or yep. I'm sure my friend's ready to go to bed and kick me out of the They're house. They're watching a Trump documentary or something, something up, up there. there. Yeah. Some news special. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently. We'll just document this. Well, I went up the stairs and he told me that they're supposedly tr uh, shutting down the Taj Mahal tomorrow. <sighs> I've got a, we'll I got a to fact search. check. Yeah, I don't know about that, but we'll see. But anyway, um, if you're watching us on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Give us some comments. Let us know what you think of our show. Um, if you're listening on the podcast, go out to iTunes or whatever you're listening on. Leave us a review. Give us five stars. We'd appreciate it. Send us an email if you got anything you want to say to us. Or you can go on our Facebook page if you're uh, into that group. Um, anyway, I am going to call it done. Say bye. Bye. Later.